What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a good look at a budget micro reflex site for the RMSC footprint. This is made by Sealy Optics and they sent this one over to give you guys a good look at it. We appreciate that and that's exactly what we're going to do today. This is going to be just a preliminary review because I've only had this for a few months now and I don't want to give a full salary review on it with only having it for a few months. So check back later on for a follow up video. But so far, so good. I actually really like it. Uh, again, it's a budget uh, reflex site, so I have a link down there in the description box down below if you guys want to get a good look at it in case I miss anything on this little preliminary review. This seems like a very nice, solid made, uh, good quality little micro reflex site. It's got a bunch of features on it that I like that I was actually wearing the Sig Romeo before this and this has a little bit wider window on it and a few other options on it that I actually do appreciate. Again, it's got the shake awake technology so you can let this thing sit for five minutes and it pops back on. I've never had it fail to pop back on after holstering it, reholstering it, picking it up, letting it sit. Uh, so the, the shake awake works pretty well on it so far. This one on the back you can see right here is a big talking point about it. It does have fiber optic rear sights on it that you can just co-witness with the front sight that's on my uh, P365XL. Again, here's a whole list of firearms that it will fit for the RMSC footprint rather than ramble them all off. There you go. Pause the video and take a look. But I like the fact that it does have fiber optics that match the front sight on this. Uh, again, I've been wearing the SIG Zero before this, and that's a big bonus to me because the SIG Zero doesn't have any fiber optic to it. It does have notches in the back, but it's not as pronounced as these fiber optics that are really bright in the daylight. I also like the fact that this has push button controls on the side over the, again, the SIG Zero. And I'm not trying to, I guess I shouldn't compare it too much to the SIG Zero, but that's the micro reflex sight that I had before this one. So there will be some comparison to it. Uh, big bonus points for the side controls on it as far as the illumination goes. Uh, that's very nice to have on there. You can turn it off if you hold the negative button on there, the minus button. You can hold that for three seconds and it will shut the optic off. Now this does have eight settings including two night vision settings which you cannot see with the naked eye so don't think that it's off. So make sure you run through the, uh, the up and down controls on there to turn that all the way up, turn it all the way down and see what it does. And again, holding it for three seconds on the negative side will turn it all the way off. The shake awake will not work on the off setting, so make sure you have your, your dot turned on when you go to carry this. Again, it has a little bit bigger window than the SIG Zero that I had on there, so I do appreciate that. The dot presents itself very nice, very clean. It's not, you know, it's not like a halo or anything like that, uh, so it looks very nice in there. It doesn't, uh, when you're at your max brightest setting, it's perfectly acceptable for daylight shooting. Uh, so that's really nice to have. This is about a 3 MOA uh, emitter on there. So you get about 3 MOA. It does have adjustments, uh, 40 MOA adjustments, and at 25 yards, one click of the adjustment is about a quarter of an inch for adjustment. Now, first off, I went ahead and sighted it in at 10 yards, which is typical engagement for any kind of self-defense situation. And then I stretched it out to a little bit further, which I didn't catch the rest of that on camera, but I do have uh, me just plinking around with it. This runs off of a CR2032 battery, and you can see inside of the box here, it comes with that battery, an adjustment tool, an Allen wrench, as well as a cleaning uh, cloth with the instruction manual. Now I did put the cat through some reasonable tests. I dropped it from waist height, which is what you would normally encounter. Say if you're holstering or dropping it or, you know, dropping your pants and it drops onto the ground. So basically kept it to a more reasonable uh, test approach to see if anything would come loose or if anything would, you know, not work or the finish would, you know, crack or anything on the glass. Nothing happened as far as the drop test goes and I dropped a few times. From then it went on to uh, operating the slide with the belt. Of course, that's a non-issue as well. Uh, nothing wrong with the glass. Uh, emitter stays on. Nothing wrong with the housing. So then I took it a little bit of a step further and slammed it onto the desk a few times just to create a little bit more of an unreasonable test. And you can see as of that right there, nothing at all is wrong with it. There's no scratches on the housing. The glass is still good and the emitter still operates and it has been going well so far. 
So not, you know, nothing too grueling, but again, that'll be in a later video just to see how well this thing performs. But these were all reasonable tests, which seems to have passed with pretty well flying colors. So on Sealy's website, the battery is said to be able to last for 50,000 hours and an 8,000 hour runtime. So I guess with, you know, it's turning itself on and off, you get about 50,000 hours out of one CR2032 battery. Now again, this is why this is a preliminary review because there's no way I can test 50,000 hours within a span of a few months or even a year. So we'll see how this goes at a later date. We're going to check back with it. Again, be sure to check back for that one. Now again, going back to the rear sight, the uh, fiber optic notches on the back are a big bonus point. I actually was able to turn the optic off and still make hits at a self-defense uh, distance away by just using the iron sights on there that are built into the optic and on the slide itself. Now again, <clears throat> they are co-witness through the optic itself, but it's just co-witnessing. Now, if you take that into consideration, you can obviously see the front sight and the rear sights if you just hold for, you know, at your certain distances just a little bit lower than you would since you're bringing the, the sight, the front sight up, up all the way to see it fully. Otherwise, you're looking at about a half moon of the front sight through the optics for a co-witness. So again, you can still co-witness, you can still see the green front sight as well as the green back uh, rear sights, but it does work the glass is pretty clear. It does have a slight bluish, slight greenish tint uh, to the top of it, but fades away towards the middle of the glass and gets pretty clear after that. That does help for you know bright conditions, so you do get some kind of contrast. So you can the emitter can hit that uh, that that colored area, and you can see it just perfectly. Again, this does work really well in daylight shooting at full day, uh, full sun daylight. Have no problems at all with seeing that red dot. Again, I do appreciate the glass being just a little bit wider. Again, it's very clear. It's about one by 23 millimeter window, and it's very, very easy to acquire. If you practice long enough with any reflex sight on your carry pistol or any pistol at all, it becomes almost second nature and it comes right into view, presents itself pretty well. So this is made out of a one piece aluminum construction, which is 6061 aluminum, and it weighs just about 0.7 ounces. So you almost really don't notice this thing on there at all. It's a fairly lightweight, uh, fairly lightweight optic. This does sit just a little bit lower than the Sig Romeo that I had on there. Again, with about 200 rounds through it, it held zero with no problem, and I was quite surprised that when I sighted this thing uh, right off the bat, just mounted it, brought it out 10 yards, sighted it in, and was dead on uh, with the uh, center of the target, as you can see right here with this footage. Sealy has stated on their website that this has gone through 1,000 rounds to check zero and has confirmed that it can hold zero up to 1,000 rounds. Have I experienced it yet? No, I don't have a thousand rounds. However, I do have 200 rounds through it and have had no problems so far. Again, check back for the follow-up review. It does have an IPX7 waterproof rating, so that's very nice. You can carry this around, sweat all over it, walk around in the rain. Uh, you have no issues with an IPX7 wet rating on there. I think overall, as a preliminary review, I'm actually highly impressed with this one as far as the price point goes. Uh, you really can't argue with the price on it for the features that it offers. Again, with an IPX7 rating with the side controls for up and down, eight settings, perfect daylight bright, easily presents itself, uh, a nice large window on there, a nice contrasting clear image on the uh, with the glass. I mean, the thing is actually pretty impressive. So again, I have it linked down there in the description box down below if you guys want to go take a good look at it. I want to thank uh, Sealy Optics for sending this one over to give you guys a good look at it. So far, uh, in the three months or so that I've been carrying this, um, it's been great. I can't, uh, I don't have anything negative to say about it at all. Uh, the hardware that it comes with is pre loctited so that's kind of a nice feature. You don't have to go out and buy Loctite or anything like that, and nothing has worked its way loose at all. This optic does seem to be very promising, and uh, I'm look myself am looking forward to uh, doing a follow up review on it, and I hope it lasts as well as it looks because it does look pretty well on the pistol itself. Again, this is on my SIG P365XL with the RMSC cut. But anyway, I want to thank uh, Sealy for sending this one out to give you guys a good look at it. Again, I'll have a link down there in the description box down below if you guys want to get a good look at it. See if there is anything that I missed in there. Uh, but otherwise, for a preliminary review, for the uh, features that, I, that this thing has on it, um, I think it's going to be pretty promising. Anyway guys, I hope you appreciate this video, and we will catch you on the next one.